Hi, this is a Fourscore tutorial on the links feature. Links are useful when you need to jump from one part of a score immediately to another part of the score that might be on a different page. For example, uh, De Capo, DSL Senyo, or a cut or a repeat are all situations where links would be useful. My example here is a De Capo aria, and if I go to the very end of my score, on the very last bar you'll see the de capo marking and what I'd like to do is set up a link so that I can jump from the last bar back to the beginning of the A section. So I'll do that by bringing up the menu bar, selecting the toolbox, and then choosing links. This gives me a page where I can choose where I'd like the link to start and then where I'd like it to jump to, the destination point of the link. So for the from page, I'm going to place my link at the very last bar. And then on the to page, I'm going to choose as my destination the beginning of the score so I can go back from the B section to the A section. And a note that you can either use the sliders to select the page, or you can use these arrow buttons. And so now I'll tap at the first bar of the score to place the destination of my link. I tap Save. And now you can see on my last page of the score, I've got the link. And if I tap on the blue circle, that takes me straight back to the beginning where I placed the destination of my link. And as you saw, there was an orange circle that flashed twice to get my attention and direct me to the bar that I'm supposed to be playing. Now, later on, if you decide you want to delete a link, if you need to make changes to it, you can go back to the link. and then bring up your annotation toolbar. When I have it in annotation mode, you'll see that the link shows up and it has a delete icon on it. So that way you can just tap it to delete it and then tap done to save your change. Now, there are actually other ways to handle this kind of jumping around in the score other than links. There's also a rearrange feature that Fourscore has that lets you actually copy and paste duplicate pages into your score so that you don't have to do page turning and page jumping, and that, that might be a better solution in some cases. But I find links pretty useful. That concludes the tutorial. Thanks for watching and check out my YouTube channel for more